Hey everybody, this is Brandon Ellis with Industrial Automation Doesn't Have To. Today we're going to be talking about being thankful. That's right, it's Thanksgiving here in the United States of America. And for those of you outside of the U.S., celebrate with us as we eat turkey. (laughs) So join us. Hello everybody and welcome to Industrial Automation It Doesn't Have To. In case you're new to our program, I'm Brandon Ellis, and I'm your host and also the owner of Elatech. Before we start today's episode, I just want to ask that you consider hitting the follow button and the subscribe button, depending upon the platform you're listening upon. Also, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and you enjoy what you hear, please go to the show page and scroll to the bottom. Leave us a five-star rating and review. Now that we've got the marketing out of the way, I want to say thanks for tuning in. So let's get started with today's episode. Hey guys, welcome to the show today. Industrial Automation doesn't have to. I'm Brandon Ellis, your host, and I'm here with Miss Beth Elliott. Hey, Beth. Hey, Brandon. How are you? I'm good. I'm feeling thankful. Amen to that. Yeah, and so the reason is, is because we're just a few days from celebrating in the United States, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I realize that's not celebrated uh, globally. No, but I I think globally you can have something to thank be thankful for. That's right. So today we're gonna have a bit of a short episode. Not that we're not we're only shortly thankful, <laughs> but we want to talk about kind of just a review of some of the shows mm-hmm. uh, that we've had and do a quick review on that. Uh, I want to thank some people. So go ahead and hit us with the title, and we'll get started. Oh, today's title is Industrial Automation. It doesn't have to be thankless. That's right. And for those on video, <laughs> Beth doing her best Vanna White there, <laughs> thankless. And so the opposite, of course, the antonym of thankless is thankful. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we there's a couple of folks that I wanted to thank personally that have been part of the show during the last season. Uh, and, and we specifically some of our vendors, uh, but some of our guests. And so the first one I want to thank is Lisa Rector with uh, CSIA. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we did what, what's it called? What do y'all call that? Cross, cross. Oh, the, uh, crossover crossover podcast. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, and their podcast is talking industrial automation. That's right. And so, uh, we did a, a crossover podcast for us. It was, uh, industrial automation. It doesn't have to be uncooperative that's right uncooperative and so cooperative because we were cooperating that's right uh with this crossover episode so that's a bit of a a marketing i guess turn crossover but it's really cool um so thank you lisa for for uh, allowing me to be a guest on your show uh that was fantastic and then of course thank you beth for making that a show for our listeners as well absolutely um so also we did industrial automation it doesn't have to be unsafe oh yes dave and rice dave rice with data logic and of course dave was full of all kinds of knowledge so if you haven't checked that out if you got safety concerns and safety considerations uh dave goes into some really interesting topics on that you can scroll back and take a look at that again that was episode 11 of uh, uh, season no I'm sorry episode that's episode three of season two I think yes um, I need to number those a little bit better don't well I? I'm looking <laughs> you can see I'm looking at a cheat sheet uh, that's that's the 11th one we did total since season one but uh, so if you're scrolling down it's going to be number 11 if you start with season one on I, I use uh, uh, my podcasting or st- I guess you call streaming app is uh, is the Amazon app okay uh, no, that's not right. It's the Apple podcast app. Okay. Yeah. Have you given the show a five-star rating in review yet? I have. <laughs> I have every time I can figure out how to do it. So, uh, um, but yeah, so that was industrial automation. It doesn't have to be unsafe. Uh, some of the other stuff we, we uh, most recently, we uh, had uh, John Fields with yes. Yaskawa, uh, Yaskawa Motion, and also uh, Peter Zafaro with uh With Linmont, Linmont. yeah. And uh, uh, why, so while we were talking to them. Oh, it's su- supply chain issues. Industrial yes. automation doesn't have to be in short supply. And uh, and that's where we're talking about. That's really, really relevant, really, really trending right now. We're all looking at uh, semiconductor shi- uh, chips. And uh, I almost said ships. <laughs> I was going to say ships, I promise. Uh, and then I was going to thank my mama. So. <laughs> Uh, that we made, I made some references to a conversation that my mom and I had had during that episode uh, about uh, why don't we just make more chips? Mm-hmm. And so uh, that's kind of what spurred that thought for me uh, was was that. So thanks to my mama. Yes. Uh, and so uh, she she got a kick out of, of being part of that podcast. Um, 
Let's see, who else? Um, Everett Morgan. Yes, with the Red Nation Robotics. Red Nation Robotics. That's a first robotics group. Uh, at uh, It's part of at Halls High School. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a combination between Halls and Powell High Schools. Uh, but those students uh, uh, getting ready, re- rearing to go because, you know, last season they didn't get to have it because mm-hmm. of COVID, because of the pandemic. But so far, it's looking like they're going to be next next semester. Uh, so uh, coming I guess winter into 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 spring, uh, they'll be doing their competitions. Maybe we could have Everett on again to talk about. Certainly, it. Uh, in fact, I've already oh oh I've you're, already spoken to him about that. You you're don't know step that. ahead of me. <laughs> um, but we we uh, we revamped another toolbox for them. Put put wheels on it. More wheels got more wheels on their toolboxes. Make them go in four directions and that kind of stuff. And uh, had a real good time doing that. So uh, yeah, just shout out to Everett and those guys. Uh, uh, Morgan Everett. I said Everett Morgan. It's Morgan Everett. So everybody knows him. He's Mr. Everett. And everybody over there calls him Everett. Okay. And knows him as Everett. So when I say, is Morgan here? They don't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but he's a fantastic guy. And he probably would answer to anything as long as it's nice. But uh, so, so I want to thank him for being involved. We want to get him involved again. Uh, the other thing I wanted to... Uh, kind of make reference to with some of the topics, uh, uh, well, cool stuff that we were doing. <laughs> so robotic welding. Yes, that was that was cool. The industrial automation doesn't have to be boring. Mm. That's right, because we were making fire. <laughs> and when you're making fire, nothing is much less exciting. <laughs> uh, so we were welding with our collaborative robots, our Hanwha robots. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, also in the short supply of video if you uh, if you're you know that was the topic was not just talking about chips with my mom and talking with John and Peter but the reason we were talking with John and Peter was because those products the Linmont products and the Escala products and also the Hanwha products are available yes they are not in short supply they've managed there's those companies have managed their supplies well that, very very well and so uh um, we wanted to get the word out about that uh just in general because uh you know, i mean certainly we're partners with them in our in our trade region uh but uh um across the globe these are those are global companies and uh so if you're if you're looking for those kind of things even if it's not on the spec list it can get you get you out of a you know, get your ox out of the ditch. Yeah, and, <laughs> ox out of a ditch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and so, uh, um, so, so again, I want to talk about that. But, but we were talking about the Hanwha robots, and we were doing the, and it doesn't have to be boring. We were doing welding, and welding is an exciting thing. Uh, but just robotic automation in general, uh, we talked about how because of the labor shortage, uh, just robotic automation, but just again automation in general. And that's where it doesn't have to be manual. That's right. Uh, and so we were we were um, looking forward, uh, you know, just talking about some ways that you can go in and do that. Uh, and then industrial automation doesn't have to be a loss. We're talking about the ROI, the return on investment, especially with the Hanwha robots. Yes, yeah. So so those two episodes kind of go. They're not back to back in our list, but you know, as far as if you're going in order. Uh, but they both are closely related. Again, industrial automation doesn't have to be manual, and industrial automation doesn't have to be a loss. So manual, talking about good opportunities, things that you can find, and also doesn't have to be menial. That was another one as well. Yeah, yeah. So menial, meaning a repetitive type task that can easily be automated, and not for the point of re- uh, removing labor. It's reclassifying. Reclassifying labor. Mm-hmm. That's right. And so because there is a labor shortage, we are dealing with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I'm flipping back to the short supply. When those chips get taken care of and they're available again, oh. we we still have the we, we still have the demand. The demand is very high. And so there'll be a, a correction there. So uh, automating now is a good time to pr- prepare for that. Mm-hmm. I guess the the um the last thing I wanted to, we haven't made reference to, and I want, wanted to, and that was the very first episode of season two. Okay. Industrial automation doesn't have to be untraceable. And you did all of that research on the FDA traceability requirements. And that is coming to be. It's a big deal. Yeah. It, it, and it, well, I mean, it's either, I can't remember, we are either in it or we are about to be in it as far, I think it was next year or maybe 2023. I think. 
thought, and I should have brushed up on this, but I thought it was already supposed to be implemented, but maybe not. I'll have to look at it. I'll put it in the show notes. Yeah, but if you're in in food type of manufacturing or pharmaceutical or, too and far and pharmaceutical you got to trace that don't you well we well the pharmaceutical is a little different but but the, st- the research that you did was specifically about food, food yeah and and it's not we you know i'm going to say farm to table what i'm talking about from the time that the farmer gets it out of the ground to the time it ends up on your plate mm-hmm. uh it has to be traced mm-hmm. and for foodborne illnesses and, and things of that nature. It's a requirement. It's yeah. not a suggestion. FDA, some of those are suggestions as far as medical de- devices oh, and okay. things of that nature. But the in, food, in the food it is a requirement. Mm-hmm. And so um, yeah, that's what that was all about. And so it was our very first season two episode. It doesn't have to be untraceable. So I thought those were some interesting episodes as I looked back yeah. over season two. We're into season three, but um, and we talked a bit about season three as well, short supply, boring, things of that nature. Uh, but uh, uh, but those are some of the ones that jumped out at me. All right. right on. So what are you thankful for this season, Beth? I'm thankful for I'm thankful for my health. Yeah. <laughs> I am thankful for my family. Yeah. I need a glass. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm thankful for uh in Elitech and the great the great team that we've got here. We do have a fantastic they're, team. They're they're fun to work with. They're dedicated, passionate about what they do. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm very thankful to be part I'm of that. I'm thankful for that team as well. So that starts with you because you're here in the room, but Beth, Brian, Alan, uh, Sean, Julie, Joe, Todd, Timberly. Am I missing anyone? Alan? I got Alan. You got Alan. Ella? Ella, the dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm happy for Ella. Now I'm thankful for the whole thing because uh, you know as as I get the opportunity as folks come by to visit our facility to see our Elitic University Training Center, uh, to see our 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 uh, our shop and things of that nature. It's just so proud to I'm proud to show them what we're able to do. I talk. You know, I just talk up our folks all the time and their capabilities. And so every year, uh, every actually every day, I'm pretty thankful for having those people in place and for their talents. Yes. And so uh, and finally, I'm very thankful for our customers and our listeners yes. um, for, for keeping the downloads going and keeping us going. It's been a fantastic uh, season one, two and half of three. That's We're right. not finished with the no. season. <laughs> uh, it's just that this fell uh, within the, you know, a few days of Thanksgiving. Yeah. And so I just wanted to be thankful for you guys. So thank you very much for all of the, the, the kind comments, the, the, uh, the downloads, the, the, uh, even off offline when, when, when I get to see you all the, the uh, nice things that you've said about. Well, you know, thing. I wouldn't even, if you've got, uh, you know, even some, what do you, criticisms you can <laughs> oh we'll take criticism yeah, i'm thankful for that as well but uh but, but thankfully there's been a uh, it's been mainly positive uh as folks have listened but, and, yeah, and stuff like yeah. that and so we've had a lot of kind of things of saying you know i really got a lot out of that episode i appreciate that topic things of that nature uh and i appreciate that as well so uh, thank you for all you do to put this together. Well, thank you for everything that you do behind the scenes. <laughs> well, we, we've got the video, uh, and I think this video is going to be. I hope so. <laughs> we're betting that this thing's going to be good uh, because we've had a couple of uh, misfires on that, yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, but we're getting it. Mm-hmm. And the most important thing is, I have a blast doing this with you. Awesome. Good. Me too. Me too. So this is a lot of fun. So guys. I want to wish you all a very happy holiday season, uh, a happy, happy Thanksgiving, and we'll have more podcasts, and then we'll say happy Christmas. But uh, but for right now, let's focus. If you're in the U.S. or globally, focus on being thankful. Whether or not you're in the U.S., focus on eating well and spending time with family, mm-hmm. and have a very great day. That's right. And then after Thanksgiving, when you're ready to look at some automation again, give us a call at 865-409-1555. Look us up online at www.elitech.com, E-L-L-I-T-E-K.com. And then, of course, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. That's right. How'd I do? Perfect. All right. (laughs) And remember, as Beth always encourages you to do, rate and review. Give us five stars. Subscribe. Ring the bell. All those kind of things. That helps us to continue to to move forward in our 
uh, efforts to get out to the world and hopefully empower more and more people. That's right. So, guys, thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Beth. Same to you, Brandon. All right. We'll see you. We'll be right back.